Since 1994, the Arts Commission has used Young Artists at Work, or YAW, to offer unique summer apprenticeships to young, aspiring artists around Toledo, Ohio. Teaching diversity, creativity, and job skills, YAW apprentices get hands-on experience making public murals, saleable artwork, and pretty much anything awesome that you'd want to learn as a young artist. Overall, YAW encourages teens to use their art to be active in their communities. Issues that we're all concerned about take on a different meaning when you're an artist. YAW Talk is a podcast about them. You just can't be the arts in Toledo. It's the topic at and around the clock. Yacht Talk. Season 2. Welcome to the Yacht Talk, the podcast about topics that mean the most to young artists. The coronavirus has had a big impact on artists. In this episode, the apprentices talk about how they feel about different places reopening and how the virus has affected their art practice. Let's hear what they have to say. We kind of want to first talk about your thoughts on reopening. Um as opposed to everything that was happening last summer and kind of the opposite of reopening. We want to know kind of how you're feeling about going back to everything, if you're having any anxieties about it, or if you're feeling like everyone else is positive and you're not feeling very great about it. We just want to hear your thoughts. Well, I feel very eager to get back to normal. I feel like we kind of are already in that. But I'm still hearing things on the news, and I'm still hearing things about people still getting COVID Mm -hmm. or not getting the vaccine. So I'm a little worried, but optimistic. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of anxiety, like, in the news. I feel like you can't can't think too much about it, or it's just really hard to keep going. (laughs) I know that I've been kind of hesitant about, like, um, wanting to go back into, like, the old ways and all that (laughs) old. But, um, I know that, like, considerably being, like, inside a lot, like, definitely my anxiety and social interaction just, like, plummeted. Yeah. (laughs) It's gotten worse, but my social interaction skills a little. (laughs) Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, I'm sure, for everyone to, like, rebuild that. But, I mean, I know, like, there was a lot of positivity about going back in person somewhat for y'all this year, but... I know a lot of, like, in corporate jobs, some people are quitting because they're being forced to go back, and so in certain situations, people would actually rather not do that. And so I think it's just interesting that everyone kind of has a different opinion. I'm really excited for things to go back to normal. I think all of us have kind of needed a sense of normalcy, but I'm just really hoping we're not reopening too early, and I want to make sure that everyone stays safe in doing so, or else it would just kind of feel like the past year and a half of staying healthy has been kind of a waste. Yeah, I think a lot of people had the same attitude like last summer. It felt like we had a few months of closing and so things were gonna open up, but then it was kind of, we were hit with new waves. Um, and so I'm just hoping as people get vaccinated um, that the same things don't happen. Exactly. How are the rest of you guys feeling about going back and seeing people again? I feel like it is a bit too soon to be like, you know, like hugging each other and getting super close and throwing parties. But at this point, I am so tired of just being cooped up and COVID happening. It's just like, you know, if you're vaccinated, you know. Yeah, it's hard to hold anyone just too high a standard because everyone's so sick of this way of life. Yeah. Has being around people and having more social interactions than a year ago affected your art practice or the work that you guys are making? Um, I think, like, being around people this year, it's, when we came back this year, I feel like my art skills have gotten better. I don't know. Yeah, no, you're good. I mean, I think it's, it's like there's more pressure now that you're working with people. I think there's a lot of Um, good feedback that can come from working with people, but there's also like an element of judgment where personally I don't do a lot of digital work and it's like at home, I feel like my work can be terrible and the process can look ugly and it doesn't matter, but here it's a little, there's a little more self-consciousness. I know that like after y'all, like in comparison, like 2019 looking over like my art and stuff, like in like even 2020, quite a bit, so. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel like y'all has actually helped my um, art skills become better because I see other people's and I'm like, wow, that's really good. I need to make mine better because I'm just kind of competitive like that. 
<laughs> yeah, I think for some people that, that totally drives them. No, it's definitely not. I don't think that it's affected my art. Um, actually having to smile at people, though, that's weird. Because with your mask, you don't. You can just be like, squint your eyes and it looks like it. Um, yeah, you've got to be more on. Like, yeah. <laughs> filter and so yourself usually I'm more. like, but um, maybe I think I've definitely um, looked more towards like, social media and stuff and putting my art on there um i remember for a second i was like really trying to like sell my art at the farmer's market because like it's there almost every weekend but yeah so i think i just started yeah, i haven't posted but like i will <laughs> and then i can get like commissions and stuff like that so that's what i've been would you say that like now that you're seeing more people you're more excited for them to see your art yeah i mean yeah i think that but i think that's always been the case i don't know I, I mean, yeah, I more exposure. It's better actually seeing people because then you're like, oh my gosh, that person looks like they could like this or this or something like that. And it gives me a good idea of like what has a market, what's not needed. Yeah, I think for me, like, especially being in person, kind of like this morning when we have work time and you can casually comment on each other's work and give yeah. feedback. And it doesn't feel as forced as it does when you're over Zoom and you're doing yeah. the formal critique. And so I think in that sense, it kind of encourages me a lot more in my art. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. It feels very encouraging. I'm more likely to make art because I'm more likely to show it to people and they're more right. likely to appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what are you most excited to get back to? Is there some event you've been looking forward to or just... Um, seeing certain people or things like that? I mean, I just think kind of everything, like, like, online school was really hard for a lot of people, so I feel like going back to a normal school year will be good. I don't know, controversial opinion, but... <laughs> um, and just, like, concerts and movies and, like, everything reopening, it's just, like, it's really nice. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely nice to be able to hang out with friends and go places yeah. that you haven't been able to go before. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I mean, there are, there's opportunities that I got last last school year that now, like um, the musical, yeah. I'll, um, I'll actually be able to like do more stuff, and there aren't going to be like un problems that aren't you know normal problems like how are we going to put the microphone on the mask and like stuff like that. So. Um, I'm excited for that, and it also feel more like a community. Um, so yeah, that's I'm excited for that specifically. Yeah, definitely. things reopening and some restrictions lifting definitely make things a lot easier and less tedious. Mm -hmm. In this episode, Yacht Apprentices talked about how they feel about collaborating with others and their art this summer. Thanks for listening.